Hey everybody, Chris here, and I'm back to talk about some more Mountain Dew limited edition flavors. I'm gonna start over here with Mountain Dew Uproar. Now this is only available in food line stores. I'm really excited to taste this. It's a strawberry with kiwi, or berry with kiwi. I've heard it's strawberry though, we'll see. This one is Applebee's exclusive. This also just came out, it's called Dark Berry Bash. I keep wanting to call it Dark Berry Burst for some reason. And this is the Applebee's equivalent of a two liter. I was like, well, this will keep it fresh at least. Okay, this is a Dew Store exclusive. Uh, this is flaming Hot. You had to like get this through some special lottery or buy it um, on the Mountain Dew Store. Um, so I was able to acquire one can of it and I'm going to taste it for your viewing pleasure. And then this has been out for a long time, but I just haven't tried it um, on camera. Um, this is from Dollar General and it's been going for a while. Um, this is actually the predecessor to Baja Blast, the new flavor. So we'll get into that. Let's start with, I'm gonna start with the uproar. I'm gonna move all these to the side. Okay. So this one, like I said, is Food Line exclusive. Um, I've been seeing the chatter online and people seem to like this flavor. It's got an interesting, almost like guava color to it. Um, it smells like berries right off the bat. I like the little details here, the cap and the like ring here, kind of a little bit of a kiwi idea. All right, let's push this one to the side. Hmm. It tastes tropical. It, I guess it tastes kind of like berries. It tastes like tropical. I'm not getting a huge kiwi flavor. It's good. I like it. It's a pleasant flavor, um, but it's not a super distinct flavor. So I would say it's kind of like tropical. I love the color. It's almost like a peachy color. Um, this is good. I feel like I could down a lot of this. Um, so. Good job, Upper, and there's a little lion on the bottle here um, for Food Lion, I'm guessing. So I dig this. Um, I, I, like I said, I'm not picking up kiwi from it, but I do get a bit of a berry, a berry flavor. All these sort of like um, fruit flavor, uh, Mountain Dew flavors kind of fit in this area of flavor. So yeah, I like it. Uh, let's move on to trying some, I guess let's try the Applebee's. I got down this first. All right, all right, I just picked this up tonight at Applebee's. I was like, I don't know how this pouring is gonna work, but we'll see. Oh man, this is like trying to, that's not great. Holy, look at this, look at that color on that. Oh man, that's like deep blue sea color. Wow, that's pretty intense. Okay, like I said, this is limited edition to Applebee's. You can only get this at Applebee's. You can only give it as a fountain drink at Applebee's. It's not like they put this um, anywhere else. You can't get it in bottles or cans or anything. Mm, this also has a dark, dark berry flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, this got like a really deep berry taste. I guess it's like adequately, it's adequate to like kind of call it a dark berry. I would say it's like a mix of like blackberry and blueberry and um, I guess all the dark berries. Uh, but it takes, it's a really sort of like, I don't know, rich kind of deep berry flavor and it's sweet, but not too, too sweet. Not, not just over the top sweet. Yeah, this is really tasty. Kind of reminds me of Mountain Dew Black Label, if you're missing that. This is a good substitute, but you can only, like I said, get it at Applebee's. I really dig this. I will say, I picked this up tonight, um, and you can see the bubbles in the bag, but it's already tasting a tiny bit flat. So I would say it's probably best to enjoy it there. Um, I don't know if this whole thing is a good idea anymore because uh, it's kind of without bubbles, but uh, maybe I can soda stream it up and see what I can get out of it. But the flavor itself, really, really good. I dug that. Okay, so I'll move this over here. Okay, so let's try Flamin' Hot. Flamin' Hot's an interesting one. Um, anytime I've ever had a hot soda, like a soda that's meant to be sort of spicy, I don't, I just don't ever think of it as something that I can sustain or drink a lot of. But um, people have said this isn't as hot as some of the other things, but. It's got like a rich, look at that. It's got a rich atomic flavor. 
in some ways it's almost like uh like a a, a darker not not like a darker beer but like an amber beer or a red beer <coughs> oh my god <coughs> oh my god what it was <coughs> i started i started to sort of like inhale as i was drinking and i must have gotten some of the the flaming hot flavor up in my throat wow okay uh lightweight over here that's embarrassing okay let's try it again oh what was the fuss about like what was the fuss about at all like it was nothing it was a, the mildest mildest hint of flame of heat and it comes at the tail end but it's not like an on your tongue sort of heat it kind of like hits you or hits me at least in like the back of my throat um it's not bad. It's like actually. <coughs> okay, I gotta stop. <coughs> gotta stop doing that. Don't do that. Don't pour it and inhale <laughs> as you're trying to drink it. Even Ron's like, I can't watch this. It's embarrassing. All right. Here's the thing about all drinks like this. Any drink that has, and it, it's the same with like if you get like, um, you know, Michelada beer or something like that. It's like the spicy flavor takes away the refreshment of the drink. So I almost feel like you have to have another drink to drink with your spicy drink or you're not getting refreshed or you have to be drinking it with the blandest food possible. So here I'm going to not breathe in as I'm sampling this for the last time. Yeah, there's <laughs> I did it again. There is a little bit of a dew flavor off the top and then in the end, it's spicy. This is definitely not a dew that I would drink every single day, but it's an interesting experiment. And thank you for trying it, Mountain Dew. Okay, lastly, I already know I like this. Like I said, this is a Dollar General exclusive. I don't really have a Dollar General near me, so I had to buy this on the internet. All right, so this is a very like straightforward pineapple dew flavor. You can taste the Mountain Dew in it, but it's it's pineapple through and through. It says with a with a blast of pineapple flavor. Um, it does. It's not like adding. It's not like adding a bunch of flavors like the Pina Colada Baja flavor. It is straight up pineapple Mountain Dew, and it is delicious. This is high on the list of my favorite of the dew uh, variant flavors. So, okay, let me look at all this stuff here. Gather them in. Gather them in. All right. So how do they how do they stack up? Okay, this is my least favorite. That's not really that. Um, that's not really that surprising. It's an interesting experiment, but I'm not going to guzzle this or anything. Um, if this is super uh, fizzy, it's very good. It reminds me of Black Label, which is one of my favorite dues, and it's no longer with us, unfortunately. So I really like this. I think I, I, I would drink it all the time, but I think I'm going to put that second to last. And then I think I'll put this here. And then maybe this is my favorite because it just has a really sort of rich, yummy flavor. Um, the you know, obvious drawback to this is that you have to go to Applebee's to get it. And like, even if you get it to go, you have to drink it right away, I think, for it to be great. But um, Applebee's has a good flavor on their hands. Um, so these are all the exclusive dues I was able to find recently. Um, tell me what you've got in your area. Um, I, there are some more things that I'm hoping to get soon, but I haven't laid my hands on yet. Um, and coming up, we've got gingerbread snapped and a bunch of other stuff. So a very, very exciting time in do right now. Um, if you like this video, please like it um, by clicking on the like button, please. Um, and uh, follow me if you like this kind of content. Um, respond in the comments if you have anything to say and I will get right back to you. And as always, thanks for watching this and uh, we'll be doing the do again soon. Thanks.